All right, here we go. So we're going to do some Python turtle graphics. In order to get turtle graphics, you need Python idle open. So you're going to write Python. PY should be all you need. You have Python command line. We're going to idle Python GUI. Okay, so we're going to open up the idle. And I'm actually going to resize this at the beginning because we don't really need to see this command line. We're doing turtle graphics. And with turtle graphics, all you need is a window. I'm going to choose new window. I'm going to start from scratch like I've never done this before. Okay, so there's my window. And um, once I have a window open, you're going to start working on a file. Okay, now any good programmer will have a comment header at the top. So we're going to do turtle test.py and I'm going to comment who it's by. It's by me. Actually, I'm, not, I'm going to save those comments out for later and I'll tell you why. Um, well, because I'm going to be posting this online and that's just kind of embarrassing, right? All right, so anyway, we're going to import from Turtle. Okay, Turtle is a library of programs sitting in your computer. So from that library, we're going to import, oops, from turtle, import everything. Import stock. Okay. And we're going to create two pens. Now, these two pen objects, and I'm going to write objects down, and because this is, uh, when you want to create an object in, and this is part of object-oriented programming, in order to create an object, you would create a variable on the left. So since we're going to do two pen objects, we're going to have pen1, and pen2. So in order to create a pen object, we're going to have this pen1 represent a pen that we can move around, draw pictures, and things like that. So we type out pen1 equals pen. Now this P has to be capitalized here, and we need an opening and closing parenthesis. Okay? Now notice there is no space after the N. Okay? Now it may let you get away with adding a space, but it's going to be confusing later if you don't. Um, it's better just to not have a space there. Okay, so then we're going to do pen2. And the reason why that's important is this: these parentheses are completely tied into the word in front of it. So we're going to do pen2. So we got two pens now. And we can work these independently. Independent, never mind, okay. Bad pun. All right. We're going to set the colors. Actually, let's set the screen's background color. Now, if you have any question about how to do something in Turtle Graphics, just Google it. Go get, um, go get your window open. Right now, I'm already turned. Um, I already have it up here, but just Google Python Turtle Graphics, and you'll see this thing here. We've got Turtle color, red, green. You can, so you can see on here, you can give it a keyword, or you can um, give it like a hexadecimal code, or you can do this thing which is called red, green, blue. And red, green, blue would be any value between 0 and 255, and 0 would be no red or no green or no blue, and 255 would be complete color. And so you can use any one of those. I prefer hexadecimal. And the reason why there's a lot of great websites out there. In fact, the really good website you want to go to is Colors on the Web. And I've already been there. It's colorsontheweb.com. And you go there, and there's these tools. One's called the Color Wizard, and one's called the Color Wheel. So we're going to use the Color Wizard. What's cool about the Color Wizard is we'll give you colors and other, like, you can get color combinations. So we go down here, and we can randomize this color. We can click it and find different colors that you like. As soon as you see a color you really like, just run with it. I like ones that are kind of uh, not too dark, not too light. Tell me when to stop. You like that? No? Like that? That one? That one? That one? That one? Okay. Now, um, now, notice you've got all these things here. You've got all these color codes here. All these little numbers and letters. Those are a hexadecimal code. Now, we're going to go into the numbering system later on, but for now, you just can copy and paste. And you'll notice it says monochromatic, analogous, triadic, all these different fancy words. And they're fancy words for getting colors that go well with it. Now, because this color is so dark, 
I'm afraid, I, I'm afraid this is almost too dark and everything's going to be hard to see. So I'm going to actually, well, actually, no, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to choose these colors here, but the background screen, I'm going to use this particular color here. No, I'm actually going to use the lighter one there. So I'm just going to copy it. So I'm going to put on here pen one dot screen. Now this is important. You need the screen dot BG color because we're not changing the color of the pen. We're changing the color of the screen. I'm going to put pound sign or hashtag, and then I'm going to control V to paste it and do it right there. So 94B3C6. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if this works. So when you're ready to run your first Python script, you've done some coding, you can go straight to run, run module. It's going to require that you save it first, or you can choose file save. It doesn't really matter. Either way works. So we're going to run it, and it says we have to save it first. So I click OK, and now it's going to ask me where I want to save it. Now in a moment, uh, and a little bit later on this class period, you're going to you're going to start creating you're going to create a folder in a in the media drive. But for now, we're just going to keep it here. So we're going to go to Python code. I'm just going to put it in here, and I'm just going to put turtle test .py. So I save it. That little window pops up, and there's my screen. So you see that the background color works, right? Pretty cool, huh? 